Welcome to Gaia's Love, a podcast of brief messages to help humanity bridge the gap to the new earth. My name is Vivian Gerard. It is my delight to be a scribe for consciousness today, sharing the wisdom that flows through from source. Here we go. Episode 159. It is Thursday here in Cincinnati, a little chilly, not too bad, and gray and rainy. <laughs> there is no sunshine anywhere outside. All I can see out the window is gray and then these brown trees. A little bit of the green is starting to poke through, like the buds are starting to come through on the trees, but we got a ways to go until the green of summer arrives. So today, the the topics that were moving through my mind as I was preparing for this were very much connected to the full moon in Libra. I read a picture, an article on Instagram yesterday from the Cosmic Path, and she said we have two full moons in Libra because of the way that the lunar cycle falls with the zodiac. I made it sound like I know what I'm talking about, but I don't. You need to read astrology (laughs) to get the truth. I'm just quoting from a picture. (laughs) There are two full moons in Libra. We had one last night, and then the next one will be on, I think it's Friday, April 19th. And so what she said is, prepare for the energies of this being an opening at this full moon in Libra of a cycle that's going to close at the next full moon in Libra. And Libra is about balance and partnerships and, you know, the uh, dynamics uh, within, (laughs) I can't even speak right now. (laughs) The way I define Libra, instead of me trying to tell you astrology, I'll tell you how I define it. It's very much about the sacred agreements and connections that we have with those that are here in the physical and those that are not. And so Libra is about finding balance in the way that energy flows within those agreements and contracts and relationships. My interpretation of Libra. So as we begin a cycle yesterday, today, and we move through that over the next month, there are going to be themes and topics and places where energy can shift and it can either contract or expand and we are the ones that are guiding whether we are going into the contraction or the expansion in these relationships so for me yesterday sharing about my grandmother and the way I see grandmother energy it was an opening and expansion which then over the next month allows for even more of that grandmother energy and love to flow into my life to be explained and manifested and expanded in very physical ways in my journey because what I claimed was an opening was a sharing was a a beginning of something bigger if we step into this full moon energy so yesterday today by contracting by closing down by shutting off by disconnecting deeper intimacy deeper connections in those relationships and agreements that we've made as souls That is what we're going to create more of over the next month unless we become aware that we were closing down and we shift the vibration. We we allow a little bit of an opening, which then allows a little bit more of an opening. And so over the next month, you can have a little, a gentle expansion. So I guess what I'm offering is be very conscious, very present, very aware in the next couple of days what you are closing off, what you are opening up. Because you are, you are going to receive more of that, whichever direction you're going. And what I shared yesterday with such tenderness from my grandmother, what we shared together was trust, trust that love creates more love. And if you are opening 
to love, if you are expanding the viewfinder with which you see love in all of your relationships, you're going to receive more of that. You're going to create more of that. For, for many of us, because we have been hurt, because we have had woundings and experiences and situations that have cut into our heart, or at least that's how it has felt, it is a very natural tendency to want to shut down or close off, to want to protect. I talk about this so often in this podcast space hunching over, closing down the shoulders, uh, protecting around the heart chakra. You can feel how I, my energy is doing that as my physical body is leaning forward and in and getting quieter and smaller. What I encourage you to do over this next month and begin right here, begin in this moment, begin today, practice all day, is to just gently lean back physically into your chairs, into the car, wherever you are, lean back, allow your shoulders to gently open a little bit more as you physically make that movement from being hunched over to opening up, to feeling the support at your back. So allowing the chair to hold you, allowing the seat if you're driving in a car, allowing it to hold you steady, planting your feet firmly on the surface of the earth running the energy that is locked in your throat that you're trying to like ah! <laughs> like when you're on a ride and you know the ride is about to pick up speed and all your energy is in your throat run it down to your hips and then all the way down to your feet and you'll notice like you feel calmer you feel steadier relax the muscles of your legs relax the core of your stomach and then allow your shoulders to be just a tiny bit wider than they were just a moment ago. All of that physical shifting in your body allows the energy, the soul, the consciousness to follow suit. So it will also relax. Your love will also begin to expand. Your heart will also begin to open a little more. Why, <laughs> I'm speaking to the mind, why do we want to do this again when we've had these hurts and pains in the past and why? Because the human journey, the soul coming into the human form, the human journey is always about expanding love. We get caught up in the pain. We go into the contrast of experiencing the disillusion and the disappointment and the wounding and the human stories. We go into all of that for contrast so that as we remember and return to love, the love is that much richer, that much more sacred, that much more beautiful. And that journey from the pain, the wounding, all the way back to the joy, it's so good. It's so good. So wherever you are in that continuum, in that journey, in that shifting from the pain to the joy, know that I am telling you, K-N-O-W, no, <laughs> not N-O, K-N-O-W, know that I am telling you, it is so. The joy always, always sits on the other side of that pain. So you can contract in, you can hide, you can have more suffering, you will create more of that over the next month as we move through this uh, double full moon, <laughs> whatever they call it, blue, blue full moon in Libra, super blue, purple, yellow, green <laughs> full moon in Libra. We can suffer our way through that and it'll be a learning experience for sure. Or you can simply practice just like I'm showing you and illustrating right now. You can practice physically tuning your body into opening up to more love and then breathing through it and then breathing through it again and relaxing your muscles again and running all that energy from your throat down to your feet, <laughs> opening your shoulders a little bit more. 
and trusting that where you're moving towards, love expands always. So the title for today, <laughs> when I was sitting preparing for this in meditation, I just had no title and I normally get a title. <laughs> And I was like, okay, I'm not leaving this meditation space until I have a title. And what I clearly heard from my soul is deep peace. Deep peace. It is a beautiful song by Ashana. A-S-H-A-N-A. I'll put a link to it in the comments. And the song literally just says, deep peace to you. Deep peace to you. When we trust in love and return to love and come back to love and trust in love again and return to love again, we are moving towards deep peace. And I, I, how would I say it? I know deep peace is possible and is real and is a feeling, a vibration that you can tune into over and over again. So wherever you are in that continuum in your journey, move towards more love, which always moves you towards deep peace. Thank you for tuning into this vibration of pure love. I invite you to join me in aligning with the optimal health of your mind, body, spirit in the virtual community of Viv's Energy Gym. You can learn more at mysouljourney.com. Let's take this message of Gaia's love out into all of our relationships and communities today. So much love from my heart to yours.